JB, uh, obviously injuries and, and protocols and stuff kept you guys really shorthanded tonight, particularly in the second half. I mean, what did you think of your guys' efforts in the second second half, considering the circumstances tonight? Yeah, proud of their effort. They battled. They, they gave they gave me and their teammates everything they had tonight. They were competitive. They left it all out there. We had guys playing 40 minutes who aren't accustomed to it. Um, we just kept battling. You know, we, ne we never gave in, and I'm really proud of their effort. Is it a little challenging to kind of make heads or tails of the gameplay itself, knowing that you couldn't use the right rotations you necessarily would and rebounding and things like that? Yeah, obviously there's there's things that we got to clean up and look at, but in general tonight, this was about their effort, their energy. They competed tonight and I can live with that. You know, there's there's a lot out there tonight and there's no excuses. I'm not trying to make excuses. You know, our, our guys are doing what they can, but um, you know, under the circumstances, I give our guys a ton of credit. And uh, I'll watch the film. There's stuff we got to grow from. There's things that we got to learn and, and, and get better at. And obviously, we got a poor second quarter. But in general, we kept battling and kept fighting our way through it. Thank you. Let's go to Rick and then Richard. Jimmy, have you ever been involved with an NBA game where one team was literally down to eight players for a half? And what was it like to have to make decisions under those circumstances? I don't know if I've been a part of a game like this. You know, it's it was challenging. Obviously, then losing Devontae was I feel bad for the kid, you know, to, to see him uh, hobble out. Um, that's the that's the challenge there, Rick. It's it's tough, but you know, that's our job and um, it was challenging, you know, just trying to figure out how to keep these guys fresh and competitive and Keep the rotations moving forward and but our guys gave us everything they could tonight and we just ran out of gas there in the fourth quarter so um hopefully we get some healthy bodies we'll get some good news tomorrow i hope um but until then we just got to keep battling and i got to be careful with their their bodies and their rest and their recovery uh to get us through these you know this next week you have talked an awful lot about the importance of synergy between the hornets and the swarm I know Jalen has been with the parent club. I'm not making it sound like there was some crisis, but the idea that he was not around you for two weeks and came back and on the fly was prepared not just to help, but the, he ended up playing 25 minutes. Does that make any sort of a statement on the way that you guys have figured out how to make sure that everybody's on the same page? Yeah, I think it's a good point, Rick. I mean, our, the synergies there, the consistency between the programs is there. And, um, like you said, I thought Jalen helped us tonight. And, you know, I think it's the, uh, you know, the consistent communication and connection between the G League and our program that allows something like that to happen tonight, where a guy can come in, you know, right out of the G League and really give us productive minutes. So, um, yeah, I'm, look, I trust our G League program, and that's really what we've tried to build, Rick, over the last couple of years. And I think tonight was a good example of that. Thank you. Yes, sir. Go to Richard and then Rod. Uh, Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. Uh, Coach Brego, what can you tell us about the injury situation moving forward or the protocol situation? And I'm guessing given how diminished and limited you were tonight, it's the best day, best schedule opportunity to have two days off coming up. And what will you do at that time? And certainly I'm sure you're hoping that in two days you can talk more about having more warm bodies, if nothing else. Yeah, I don't have any updates for you. Uh, you know, we'll find out more tomorrow on kind of what's going on with Devonte and Gordon and the protocols. I don't have an update there either. You know, we just got to hear from the league on that. Um, and the biggest thing right now is that we get our minds right, get you know, refresh the mind and refresh the body. Uh, we do need these two days, so I'll be very careful with what we do on the floor. Uh, tomorrow will will be an off day. So everybody get their rest and, and recovery and get back in the gym on, on Tuesday. Um, and then we'll know more we'll know more on Tuesday. We'll figure it out from there. Hey, Rob. Hey, JB, in the first quarter, you guys scored three plus points again for, which I guess is like the fourth to last, fifth game or something like that. What's happening in those first quarters? Um, obviously before the injuries happen tonight, but what's happening, would you say, of late, for you guys to turn things around and getting up to better starts? Well, we're playing with we're playing with better pace. The ball is moving. I thought the ball moved really well in the first quarter. You know, we were finding really good looks. We got out in transition, got some easy ones. A lot of that we were getting stops too. You know, we held them to 17 points. So really, our 
when we get stops like that, our offense is really effective, you know, and then you look at the second quarter when they started to score, we were finding great shots and our poor shot selection was leading to poor defense. But I thought the first quarter was a, a reflection of our defense really leading to good offense and the ball was moving. Obviously, we were making shots. Let's go to Scott and wrap up with Maria. Uh, JB, I wondered if you could talk about two players specifically. First of all, the run that Terry Rozier has been on for really quite a while. And then also the good and bad part of LaMelo Ball tonight. Yeah, I thought Terry, you know, he's this entire month, he's been fantastic. You know, he, he's been great just shooting the ball, his confidence, his playmaking, his energy out there, his will, his will to win is there. Um, and he's been obviously very efficient. He gives us everything he has defensively every single night. So he sets the tone for us on both sides of the ball. Uh, and he's just gutting, gutting these games out. You know, he's given us everything he has. He is a super competitor. So really proud of his effort and, and what he's doing for our ball club right now. Uh, yeah, LaMelo, you know, there was a lot of good by LaMelo too. I thought he was productive tonight. He got to the rim, he made plays. Um, I got to watch the defense again. You know, that's the work in progress. There's got to be accountability there. There's got to be a, a, a pride about that. And and he has that. And I got to continue to, ch to challenge him in those areas defensively. So I'll learn more from the film there. But I thought in general, he got us some good looks. Um, and I'll learn more from the film. But I thought both guys competed tonight to play 40 minutes in a situation like this. You got to give them credit for that. Thank you. The last question to Maria. Hi, Coach. First of all, nice to meet you and happy Valentine's Day. Maria Vidal for Tap Deportes in Latin America. Um, speaking. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> speaking of Lamelo, how does it feel to watch a young guy like him grow and develop in this team? Well, he's special. He's a special player. Uh, I love coaching him. He's developing right before our eyes. He's young, he's 19. You know, this is new for him. And he's having a major impact on our program, our team, our city, our culture. And it's fantastic for our group. You know, he's he's only going to get better from here. And we found ourselves a heck of a player, a heck of a person. There's room for growth here, which is exciting. That's why I get excited, you know, every day to come to work is to help mold and shape this kid. And, um, and that's the beauty of this job. So I love him. I love coaching him. He's a special guy, special talent and his teammates love him. So all that's very important for us.